This episode of Life Hacker is brought to you by HostGator. Welcome to Life Hacker's summer series. Uh, where you may notice a slight change in format from our regular episodes, but we'll still be delivering you your weekly dose of life hacker. So today we're going to be talking about a few ways to get rid of pesky spam callers, run down the top posts of the week, and share a clever tip from a reader. Let's get to it. How can I stop getting these annoying texts and calls to my phone? There are three basic approaches you can take if you want to block calls or text messages on your phone. You can, one, take advantage of number blocking features from your carrier. You normally have to pay for this privilege. Two, use a service like Google Voice to block specific numbers. This option is free and effective, but it does require that you use Google Voice. Three, and install an app on your phone that can intercept and block unwanted numbers. Each option has its advantages and disadvantages. Here's how they work. First, if you want to go the carrier route, you'll have to find the right feature for your carrier. Verizon wins the customer satisfaction prize with their clearly purposed spam controls, which allow you to block up to five numbers for free. Sprint's parental controls, also free, let you block unwanted text messages or restrict incoming calls to a whitelist. AT&T has a feature called Smart Limits that lets you block up to 30 numbers from calling or texting you, but it costs $5 per month per line. And finally, T-Mobile's Family Allowances feature blocks specific numbers from calling or texting for a monthly fee. If you don't like your carrier's options, Google Voice offers another way to ensure you don't get those unwanted calls and texts. Keep in mind that it will only work with your Google Voice number. To block a number on Google Voice, just log into your account and follow these steps. First, find the call, text message, or voicemail from the number you want to block. Click the More link underneath the message, then select Block Carrier. Lastly, you can also install apps on your smartphone to solve this problem. Android has plenty of apps for blocking calls and texts. Droid Blocker, Call Filter, and Automatic Call Blocker are all free options that'll get the job done. On iPhone, you have fewer choices because the platform is more restricted. If you jailbreak, however, iBlacklist will provide you with blocking features. It'll also cost you $12. MobileGate is another option, and it's free, but it might not be compatible with all versions of iOS. So there you have it. If you've been bothered by pesky spam calls or texts, one of those options should work for you. Each week, Lifehacker covers over 150 different posts. Here's three that stood out this week. First, we took a look at 10 of our favorite ways to upgrade your daily routine. You've got countless ways to do things better from the moment you wake up in the morning until you go to sleep at night, and this post highlights several that you may want to work into your routine. If you're looking for cheap, easy, and cool DIY project, we stumbled onto this clever, transparent dry erase board you can make from roughly $6 in materials from your local hardware store. The convenience of Amazon means we do tons of our shopping online, so we decided to take a look at what rewards credit cards would give you the best rewards for all of your Amazon purchases. And finally, we took a brief look at the most common four-digit lock screen pins people use to secure their devices. The three most popular? One, two, three, four, zero, 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 and two, five, eight, zero. This is soap. You can wash your face with it. At Lifehacker, we get tons of reader submitted tips every day. Here's the best video tip we got this week. Hey Lifehacker, uh, my name's Tom from London. Um, I just wanted to share this with you. So we've all had that experience of trying to light a lighter and uh, you know take it out of your pocket and uh, you try to light it and uh, you know, like looks like we've run out of gas, right? Um, so before you throw it away, if you just, using your fingernail or something, if you just prise off the side like so, uh, you're left with this. Now this bit here is the crank that effectively um, uh, you know, enables you to put the flame up and down. If you disengage it there from the crank, wheel it round, uh, put it back down again, in there, and then, and then twist it, you get an extra 10 seconds of light. So uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot, Lifehacker. Love the site. Keep up the good work. Have a killer tip you'd like to submit to us? Send a reply to this video on YouTube or send a link to show at lifehacker.com. Hungry? Thirsty? The refreshment stand is open. Looking for a new web hosting solution? Then check out HostGator. HostGator can get your blog or website up and running in minutes. 
Plans start at just $4.95 per month and include free 24-7 support, access to robust website building tools, and they'll even migrate your current site for free. HostGator also offers you a 45-day money-back guarantee, unlimited disk space and bandwidth, and $100 Google AdWords credit to market your site. Best of all, HostGator is offering Lifehacker viewers 25% off your order or your first month free. Just go to www.hostgator.com and enter the code LIFEHACKER at checkout. And now, it's showtime. If you want more videos from Lifehacker, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash lifehacker. This week we looked at Turntable FM, a new service that leverages Facebook to chat with friends and listen to each other's music. You enter a room based around a music genre and listen to songs curated by your friends acting as DJs. It's cute, fun, and is proving to be a major distraction around Lifehacker HQ. Next up, Whitson showed us how to set up Skype for easy video chats, which is a handy one to send on to your less tech-savvy friends and family next time they ask you about it. He also demonstrated a quick shortcut to quickly navigate a bunch of Android home screens. And finally, Adam Dotch just showed off a simple trick when playing back media in iOS that allows you to easily scrub to exactly the place you're looking for without jumping around a song willy-nilly. That's it for this week, so we'll see you next time. <laughs>